<laughs> All right, let's go. You ought to do that. Let's say, hey guys, you know, like you, you take your car buffer to this thing, you can get some really good results. Yeah, gives you a couple more miles an hour, too. Yeah, and I thought it was going to be a problem, but it's really not that bad. Um, it will tip if you try really hard, but Time for the most it. part, it doesn't. Just a heads up, you're actually on the right side of the runway right now. Okay. This is the center section, that, that clean section. Okay. I can't tell you how many times. Oh, so I'm on the wrong side. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm just saying, it's okay. just like if you don't want to be hitting the weeds. Then land there. A lot oh, of times people think that the weeds are the center of the runway. Got it. No. So it's not. So it's the center, that little yeah, center piece. This, okay. Everybody looks at this and they think, oh, this isn't the runway here. It is a runway, it's just the freaking weeds. The weeds took over? Inside. Okay. Okay. Time up, Makes perfect sense. Let's make sure the gyro's on. It is okay. It's um for being bone stock this thing is really quick. And the aileron rates, I had to cut them way down. That's 50%. Yeah, I found that. <laughs> Cuz they are crazy high otherwise. I thought you already sold it. I haven't got the money for it yet. I can like the black. The day is full of variety. Time remaining. Two minutes. I fly this with a... Uh, this is a 4000, just a 70C 4000 right now. But if I want to go for, for longer flights, I'll do a 30C 5000. And it'll fly for like six minutes. Surprisingly stable too, even with the gyro off. But yeah, it's a fun plane. Landing is, you got to get used to landing because it requires a lot of high alpha. got to set up for it, you know, when you do your gear pass. Time remaining. One. Otherwise you'll, you know, fly past yourself on the on the landing. So when you're landing, are you like I got to land or do you have a go around? No, I have a I have a couple go arounds. I usually set it up to where I have at least three go arounds. Yeah. With this battery, I have at least two. Just for the hell of it, I'll set up for it now. Make sure the gear's down. Gear down. <laughs> what do you know? One didn't come down. I know, that's why I did it again. I think I do. We'll find out. Time expired. There we go. It's up. They're all down. All right. So, Let's set up for it now. What the heck? Yeah, I was I was getting a little bit of that the last time I was flying too. There you go. It did, something bumped it. But no, I have it set now to where when I full pull up, it'll just, it'll just uh, slow down. See that, that's what I got last time when I went to full flaps. Uh -huh. All of a sudden it wanted to like go to the left. Right. No matter, like I was going full deflection to the right. It right. Was just like, nope. didn't, didn't matter. Yeah. Um, if you get too slow, 
and you don't have your elevators set right, it will snap on you. Yeah. But That's if you got flapperons, it's something different. It was flapperons, is what I have right now. I, I just think that maybe the flaps are blanking out the tail. Probably, yeah. yeah. And you don't need as much as you think. It's just a little bit.